Hey, it's Lowry Smith of the Commander Smiths, and today this is searching for the spotlight. I'm going to be building Dragon's Approach, Calmax, uh, Sire, and this should be a lot of fun. Camera, thank you. Thank you. Focus, focus, camera, focus. All right. Um, the uh, computer has been struggling for me, and so we will see if it works all the way through. I I hope and I pray, but, um, this should be a cool deck and, um, cause it just kind of cut out on me. I kind of want to see if I can get this on Twitter. Let's get this one on Twitter. All right. And then. Let's see if I delete the old one. Ugh. Ugh. Where is I'm pretty bad at this whole technology thing. Let's get rid of this one. Delete. Delete. Okay. Now I can come back to you. Close. All right. I had number two on here and now he's, I lost him. My fault, my bad, but okay. So uh, me, one thing that I've learned about just trying to build this and I kind of watched uh game nights with Josh Lee Kwai is he was, um, casting a ton of dragons approach and it was, it looked really fun to do. Uh, I think that's a really good way to go about it. And I think there's plenty of commanders to choose from to do that kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to try and do something a little bit different just because um, I'm a hipster like that. It's not how that works. But as you can see from this top card, um, I'm going to be choosing what in the heck are you pewter? There we go. All right. So, um, I want to be drawing cards and discarding cards. I want to stick with the instant part as much as possible so that I can double it up with Calamax when it's tapped. Um, and Calamax is one of my favorite commanders. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I have built a couple different versions where they are ones like attack, um, base. So combat tricks. I've had it where there's the spell mastery from Strixhaven in there. Um, I've had a bit of burn in there as well. And I just, uh, I just really enjoy Calamax as a commander. And so I'm probably biased on this, maybe not the best one, but let's see if we can get it to work. So um, I own 26 dragons approach. So that's what we will work with. And uh, if maybe down to 25, one thing that you'll notice if you try and build a dragon's approach deck is they take up a lot of spots. You don't get a lot of flexibility in what you're kind of doing. You're just, you're either burning out your play, your, your opponents, or you're trying to get dragons into play. There's not going to be a whole ton. If you're not a, like a stuff to do, you're not very flexible in your spots. And, um, you know, I'm going to run 38 land for the most part, more than likely. That's what I like running in three color decks maybe down to 36 um depending on how tight everything feels like i want to make it or not but um i have 25 26 slots right off the bat taken up and that's going to be a lot of spots i don't know oh shit uh we don't edit any of this either so that ain't gonna help be helpful but for some reason my camera is just not fucking focusing <sighs> come on there we go um so that's kind of the basis of what's going on you are just all over the fucking place um okay so let's go through some of the cards as we talk about them. We'll definitely have ramp and we'll definitely have um, draw. And then after that, I don't really know what we're, 
Faithless Salvage is a draw discard with a rebound um, instant, so that makes it plausible. Uh, Otherworldly Gaze, um, that is look at the top three cards of your library, put any number of them into your graveyard, and the rest back in top of your library in any order. That's not drawing you cards, that's putting, but that's putting lands and dragons approach into your graveyard, which is fine by me. Dragon Rage Channeler. Um, the Surveil could be nice. I don't know how many like non-creature spells I'll be casting because I'm just, you know, drawing and trying to get stuff in the... But this is a potential, you know, it's one mana, can be good later on. Royal Scions uh, draws me a card and discards me a card. Might be a little too expensive. The other thing to think about is Dragon's Approach is at three mana, and um, you don't want to put a lot at that three mana spot because that's kind of where you're casting Dragon's Approach. So you don't want to be competing too much in that spot, but we'll see. Uh, Practical research that's draw draw four cards then discard two cards um and it's an instant so doubling that up seems good curate is draw or look at the top two cards put any number of them into the graveyard and the rest back on top of your library draw a card uh potential prismari command is going to draw you two cards and discard two cards uh and then create maybe like a token or two and you copy and that seems good uh, we play proxies. So Tefiri, Master of Time, draws you a card and discards a card every uh, turn. Going to be good. Dak Faden draws you two cards and discards two cards. We'll roll with that. I don't know why my camera is all over the fucking place right now, though. Let's get frustrating. Smuggler's Copter um, draws you a card, discards a card. Read the runes at instant, draw X cards, and then for each card drawn this way, discard a card. You get to do that twice with Calamax. Radical idea is just draw a card, and then you can discard. For the jump start, uh, thirst for meaning is draw three cards and then discard two cards. That's basically what unexpected windfall. As an additional uh, cost to cast a spell, discard a card. Now, whenever there's something that says additional cost to cast this spell, that's in addition to the mana. And then if you're copying it with Calamax, you don't have to do it that second time. So you'd be drawing four cards and creating four treasure tokens. So it seems like a solid card in here for me. Channeled Force, instant as well. Additional cast is, is discarding X cards. Don't have to do that again with Calamax, but you draw X cards, deal damage to a creature or planeswalker, and do it twice if you're copying it. Grapple with the past is mill the top three cards and then bring back a creature or a land. Um, and that might not be bad to get some of those uh, dragons back. And two mana, instant. Uh, doing it twice seems like it'll be cool. Reign of Self, uh, Revelation, draw three, discard one. Electric Rel Revelation is uh, additional cost, discard a card. So it's just draw four cards, and then it has the flashback, essentially, with the doubling up. Chemister's Insight, draw two cards, instant. And then you get to discard you know, Dragon's Approach or a land or whatever for the jump start. Fact or Fiction is an instant uh, classic card. Kind of always kind of cool. Thirst for Knowledge is draw three cards and discard two cards unless you do an artifact, but discarding two is not bad. Pulse of the Grid, instant, draw two cards and discard a card. If you control more card or then if, if an opponent uh, has more cards in hand than you return the grid to owner's hand. So you can potentially do it multiple times, depending on if you have, if somebody has more cards than you windfall, this is just kind of like a big wheel effect. Um, that's, it's still good, especially with it being a sorcerer. It's a very good card. Careful study is only a sorcery, but it's super cheap. And then it's draw two cards, discard two cards. Lot scour is an instant, but it's mill to draw a card. And that's being an instant and really cheap is going to speed up your deck quite well. Uh, you have Mental Note, which is an instant, and then put the two cards of your library and then draw a card. That works well. Search. Uh, no, this is Thirst for Discovery from Crimson Vow. New one that's just alt art or whatever. Draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you do a basic land. But looking to do... This is fucked. <laughs> I'm so pissed about the uh, 
the autofocusing right now. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm sorry, bear with me. I'll try and talk everything through. So seems decent. Frantic search is going to draw two, discard two, but untap three lands, copied six. It's going to be sweet. Uh, Sorcerer's glass. Uh, creatures you control have tapped to add blue or red. And then when it comes into play, you draw two, discard two. And so um, the cool thing about this card is it allows me to tap Calamax to cast spells. And so that's that's a big reason why I like this card. Uh, is it charm is a counter spell, but also there to draw two, discard two. Uh, risk factor is draw three cards. You know, it's an instant. I'm copying it. You can jumpstart it. Jumpstarts kind of seems like it's a cool way. One thing that can happen in a draw discard deck is you can just run out of cards, which is not something that you want to have happen. So you want cards that maybe don't discard as many cards, like the draw two, discard two, but something that'll like jumpstart, which is draw three. Potentially, they can take four damage, sure, but you're discarding your card anyway, which we want Dragon's Approach in the graveyard. So we'll work with that. Uh, Hazareth's Monument is discarding a card, drawing a card. Ooh paying one red or one less for those dragons or Calamax uh, could be beneficial in this kind of deck. Sorcery, this one might not make it as an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards. We don't have many ways to copy sorceries. And this isn't on par with Windfall or anything, so it's probably not going to make it. Uh, Tectonic Reformation, this is an enchantment that gives your lands cycling, which is sweet. And it also has cycling, but I do have a little package that I'm thinking about keeping in there um to bring lands back so that's kind of what we're working with a little bit uh thrill possibility which is draw two cards but as in addition to discard a card so it should be sweet uh faithless looting flashback but it's draw two discard two always love this card so those are the draw cards now we're kind of getting into the ramp package of kind of the ideas i'm thinking i'm just going to have to cut cards like this but uh, Rata allows you to play lands off the top of your library and look at the top card of your library. Anytime you may play lands from the top of your library. That's sweet. You know, everything else on it doesn't really matter. So I'm just looking to do that, but I think just playing from the graveyard is better. So I'm going to cut cards like this that are playing off the top. Mina and Den allow you to play an additional land each turn and being able to play from the graveyard. I think this is going to be pretty beneficial. So we'll keep that around for now. Augur of Autumn, a look at the top card of your library and you can play uh, lands from the top of your library. And then as long as you control three or more creatures with tower, you may cast creature spells from the top of your library. The top of the library for the creatures makes me want to use it. But like I just said with Rada, I don't think it's good enough here because i have a ton of instants and sorceries it's not going to get much so i think we just cut that right off the bat uh cryptolith right uh creatures you control have tap add one mana of any color to your mana pool this is going to be great for just tapping calamax to add mana and then doubling up on instants not really putting calamax in danger not wanting to attack with them harrow in addition to uh cast harrow sacrifice a land Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them in the battlefield, and shuffle your library. And so if you're copying it, you get to go get four. It's one of the best ramp cards in Calamax. It's crazy good. Red Claw Mystic, it is kind of just here because it's red, green, blue. I don't really play with it very much. It'll probably get cut. Uh, one of the cards that probably will make it, uh, World Shaper, uh, when it dies or when it attacks, you put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard and then when it dies bring all lands back from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped that's going to be a huge ramp card here splendid reclamation is another one bringing all the lands back into play from my graveyard going to do some good stuff crucible of worlds you get to play land cards from your graveyard um i think this is kind of the route that i'm going to be going for sure uh ramming up ex excavator same thing playing lands from graveyard Renin 7, um, the idea here is because of putting all the lands from your hand into play. Uh, I, I think long term, it's just not going to be there well enough. So I'm going to cut that right now. But Renin 6, return one land from your graveyard to your hand. That's cheap enough. I think that can work. 
And then being able to give instance and sorceries in your graveyard to have retrace, that's going to be long-term really good. Um, so we'll, we're going to see where this goes. So Lagurk, the Overslime. The cool thing is like just you're going to be putting lands into your graveyard. That's part of the plan. And so uh, like you're going to get him huge. So he could be aggressive, but really what I want to do is get more lands back into my hand. It's kind of working with the Renin 7. And so we'll see if that ends up getting cut eventually. Um, Quandrix Apprentice is going to, it has a mage craft and whenever you play a spell, you look at the top three cards and you put all lands, you may reveal land from uh, among them and put them in to your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's going to be uh, good for some card advantage and that land stuff going to be perfect. Storm the Vaults, um, I don't think I'm going to have enough creatures but whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, so you can get three per turn if you hit each opponent, you get to create a treasure token, and then it can flip as well. Um, we'll have to see where the treasures, how many get there, but I'm going to cut this right off the bat right now. Uh, Dockside Extortionist is probably just going to be awesome. Or Oracle of Moldiah is allowing me to play two lands, which I think is going to be pretty good. Azusa Lost But Seeking allows you to play an additional two lands, so three per turn, um, which is pretty good. Life from the Loam, uh, bringing three lands back from your hand, uh, from your graveyard to your hand, and it has Dredge 3, so that can be kind of cool too. Um, we'll see if that makes it. So Crow, a Tribe Elder, sacrifice it, put a land into play tapped. It's just normal ramp. Uh, Silver Glade Pathfinder. I was thinking I like this because you're discarding a Dragon's Approach or a land and getting a land into play at ramp. Um, maybe a little slow, but I think it's going to be kind of fun. So we'll try that. Crozen Restorer. Um, you're probably going to have Threshold in this and you get to uh, tap it, untap up to three target lands. That seems pretty good. Three mana should be good. Utopia Sprawl. If I'm untapping lands, I might consider you know, I'm going to untap those double lands. Should be kind of cool that way. Um, Frontier Siege. Um, so this in this deck, since I'm doing dragons, it allows me to consider both sides. So at the beginning of each of your main phases, add two green to the mana pool. And so that's, you know, that's twice per turn. You get four. That can be pretty good. But also, whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. So it could be removal if you're in the late stages of the game and you're playing this. Uh, I think it has some good potential. Song of Freilis, uh, until your next turn, creatures you control gain tap, add one mana of any color. Um, look into tap Calmax this way. Uh, it only lasts for two turns, but maybe that's all you need. Roiling Regrowth, that'll... You sacrifice a land, put two into play, sacrifice a land, two into play. It's an instant, should be good. Uh, crop rotation at the beginning. When you play it, sacrifice a land. This is in addition to casting, so you get to go and search for two lands with crop rotation copied with Calamax. Curious Hamagnuk. It's Flippadid's cousin here. Colorless blue, 1-1. One, one. It taps, add a colorless to your mana pool, spend it only to cast instants or sorceries. And then you can flip it if there are three or more instance or sorcery cards in your graveyard. Transform it. Uh, you're going to transform this bad uh, this one. And if that is, it's a 3-4 prowess, but instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Cost reductions are pretty sweet in this. One thing that I'm going to kind of force in this deck are cards like this that just don't work in Commander, but they will work with this deck. And so that's what I want a little bit. Uh, Locket of Yesterday's is, let's get you back in focus. Come on, camera. Well, thank you. Locket of Yesterday's is one artifact. Spells you play cost one less to play for each card with the same name as that spell in your graveyard. Um, it's going to go pretty good in here. Um, you know, I, I plan on forcing this almost unless it just doesn't work. Arcane Signet is staple. Paradise, Paradise Mantle is an equipment for one and then add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This is in here to tap Calamax, use it for mana and keep them tapped. 
spring leaf drum is tapping on tap creatures to control. Uh, so tapping Calamax to get the instance copied. Soul ring clearly. Honor worn Shaku is three uh, to come into play. Tap it, you get one colorless. And then you can tap it, uh, tap an untapped legendary permanent you control. Tap honor worn Shaku. So that taps Calamax as well. Storm Kiln Artist just goes in red spell slinger decks. You, it's probably going to make it. Ruby Medallion, re reducing the cost of Dragon's Approach. That should be really nice. Uh, we'll go. We'll probably have Birds of Paradise in here. Try it of the Elysian Grove because uh, you can play additional lands, uh, and then it also, you know, doing the fixing. Jadzi, Oracle of Archivos. Um, this is going to be eight. It's I'm already playing dragons but this was probably along the lines of like the thoughts of run and seven you can put any number of land cards from your hand into the battlefield and once you get to eight you can play the you know you can play this side pretty easy and whenever you cast or copy an instant source uh, or sorcery spell you pay one look at the top pay one and cast that spell like this could be really good but i, I just don't think i'm going to uh exploration is going to allow me uh Oh, is that what it is? It hates foil? Maybe. I just think it just fucking hates me. Pretty sure that's what it is. Exploration allows you to play an additional land. Precognition field. I think I'm just going to cut this off the bat, but being able to cast instants or sorceries off the top could be kind of fun. Uh, opt is just a cheap draw. I don't know how that worked in here. Timur Ascendancy um, gives your dragons haste along with drawing off the four power coming into play. It should work pretty well. Inspiring Call, draw a card for each creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it. Calamax is going to get counters on it, and um, we'll have to see if other creatures do, but I doubt it. Um, so, uh, but giving Indestructible is always kind of cool. I like it. Fire prophecy uh deals three damage to target creature you may put a card from your hand onto the bottom of your library if you do draw a card this is kind of if you know you can deal three damage then you can bin a dragon or something you know and then you can draw a card and do that again copying it seems kind of cool to me if i don't if, if i don't want to be casting those dragons uh brainstorm draw three you know archmage emeritus allows me to kind of keep up on those cards and drawing enough Rael the Everwise. Um, I don't care about that top part, but whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. A lot of the stuff that I have is like draw two, discard two, and then I draw two off Rael. It's cheap and it should be decent in here. Sarkara the Bold. Um, so whenever an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card. So this is, you know, Dragon's Approach is dealing three damage to three opponents. And so you'd be able to exile three cards with Sir Kara. And that seems like solid, solid card advantage if you're able to cast it, you know, a bunch of cards. So we'll see how that works. Sarkon Unbroken. Um, kind of going, it's dragon themed. It's in Teamer. And then you can search for any number of dragon creature cards and put them into the battlefield kind of trying to do that it's on theme um i think that'll work but it it might not another thing that i was thinking that could go we got a bunch of x spells here that we're i'm going to talk about a bit uh, and we'll talk just kind of going through so some of the dragons that i want to do let's talk about the dragons first uh a bit part let's go with boop 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 all right so uh, I have some dragons that do some big mana stuff like Clouth, uh, Savage Vent Maw, or Leyline Tyrant, where you're able to just kind of build up a bunch of mana. And I think that could be a really good idea to what to do with the dragons. And if that is the case, then that's, you know, I, I hope I, I'd like to fit in at least six dragons, just options and doing kind of similar things. But I think these dragons will kind of work. And that allows me to play some big X spells that are instant speed. That is the hope. And then Calamax is able to double them up as well. So Klaus will would kill Calamax, but just being able to destroy a bunch of artifacts and enchantments are going to be solid. Uh, pull from tomorrow, which is drawing cards and a discard again, but it's 
doubling up can be huge. Uh, Explosion is drawing X cards, dealing damage. It's a real sweet card in my other Calamax deck. Court of Calling can go and cheat um, dragons into play. That's uh, no problem with hoping that can happen. Strength of the Tajar, Tajuru um, being able to copy kicked spells that can put a bunch of counters on there. Uh, that could be fun. Dragons are already pretty big, so I don't know how much I'll need this, but it could be decent. Nylia's intervention, uh, X spell that puts a bunch of lands into your hand again, might work with the Ren and seven idea, but I think since it's only a sorcery and I've already started cutting those kind of cards, I'll probably cut that right now. Uh, Comet Storm is one of the best X spells that are instant speed damage. It's pretty sweet. Uh, Follow the Titan instant deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. And that'll totally work. I'll be able to surge it probably pretty easy in this kind of deck. Fault Line, which is an instant dealing a bunch of damage to creatures without flying. That'll leave your dragons around dealing damage to players. Uh, should be sweet. Fluster Storm is a great card to just protect, and it puts a bunch of counters. The Storm counters, I believe, put 1-1 uh, one, one counters on Calmax. Should be cool. Squeak Goblin to Bob. So why would I put this in here? Because what happens is it's kind of a card advantage card in a draw discard deck because you discard it, and it comes back into your hand, and it's just always an easy card to discard. Um, probably I'm just going to cut it right now because I'm going to be trying to put lands and dragons approach into the graveyard. So just something to point out. Primal amulet, uh, instant sorceries cost one less. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcerer spell, put a charge counter on it. And then when you flip it, you can start copying spells. Uh, pretty cool one for sure. Spell weaver's helix is something that I'm going to force in because you just don't get to play it in commander. But it's three colorless artifact imprint it when spell weaver's helix comes into play you may re remove two target sorcery cards in a single graveyard from the game so i'm going i plan on removing two dragons approached cards from my graveyard and then whenever a card is played if it has the same name as one of the imprinted sorcery cards you may copy the other one and play the copy without paying its mana cost so um i do two dragons approach, or maybe I just pair with whatever other sorcery I have in the graveyard so I can recopy that. But um, dragons approach has to be one of them at least. All right. I think you're right. I think it just hates foils. Um, but being able to potentially copy up dragons approach is going to be kind of a cool idea. Pyromancer's Ascension, um, copying from the graveyard, probably can have it work, should be cool. Melek. Is it Paragon um, allows you to cast instants and sorceries off the top of your library and then it copies it uh, with it being six mana. I think I'm just going to cut it at this point. So we'll do that. But worth the raid mother, I will not cut. It is going to be an awesome card. Um, you can tap Calamax or, you know, the tokens that it makes. We'll see how many tokens are around, but it copies instants and sorceries for each uh two creatures that you tap dual casting enchanted creature has tap uh a red tap it copy target instant or sorcery spell you control you may choose new targets for the copy i'm copying in this deck i think it it can work here uh pyromancer's goggles allows me to pay or tap it add red and then copy an instant or sorcery uh going for a, a dragon storm i'm trying to pull dragons from my deck why wouldn't i do dragon storm let's see it's a pretty one why won't you fucking focus? There we go. It's a pretty one though. So I kind of want to play that too. I had rituals in here just to be able to cheat out dragons without dragons approach, but I, I cut those early, but I might add those in because they'd be nice for dragon storm. Another one that's going to play, but Nantucko shrine, uh, colorless two green enchantment. Whenever a player plays a spell, that player puts, X one, one green squirrel creature tokens into play where X is the number of cards in all graveyards with the same name as that spell. And so you'll get a bunch of squirrels with your dragon's approaches in the graveyard should be kind of a cool, fun card On to the other dragons. So thinking I want to Niv-Mizzet 
This one's kind of weak, but it allows, you know, red, blue, draw a card, basically deal a damage. Can be kind of fun. Um, that's Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius. But the two main ones I'm liking would be uh, Niv Mizzet Perun and Niv Mizzet the Firemind. And whenever you're drawing cards, you're going to deal one damage. And I got a lot of draw and discard in this deck. I think these dragons will be sweet to kind of cheat into play. Motherfucking camera. I'm very frustrated right now. My computer, my whole setup. I'm not so, so stick around with me. Um, and we might just, Hey, smoldering egg should be kind of cool. Colorless red defender. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a number of ember counters on smoldering dragon equal to the amount of mana spent to cast this spell. Then if it has seven or more ember counters on it, remove them and transform smoldering egg. Uh, big reason that I like it. Number one, it's a dragon. Like it's not going to do a whole ton in this form, but it's an 04 comes down early blocks for you. And then when it flips, you're casting, whenever you cast instant or sorcery spell, it deals two damage to any target. So it kind of turns into removal. Uh, you're a heavy spell slinger deck. Uh, you can be dealing two damage to a bunch of stuff. Should be cool. Easy protection, lightning greaves, and swift foot boots. Uh, smoke is an idea. I don't think I'm going to put in this one, but I might put in my other Calamax deck. But each player can only untap one creature during his or her untap phase. Kind of a stacks piece. Um, I'm going to cut that right now. Force of Vig Vigor is an instant and destroys two artifacts and or enchantments and should be kind of nice. Lethal Sabotage has Conspire, so that's tapping creatures in addition to casting it. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. I'm trying to tap down Calamax anyway, so should be nice in here. Beast Within is just a good removal. And Chaos Warp, same thing. Do that. Uh, Chandra's incinerator is going to be kind of cool in here. This spell costs X less to cast where X is the total amount of non-combat damage dealt to opponents this turn. So one dragon's approach means that this costs one red to come into play and it's a six, six trampler. But whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls and so with this in play dragon's approach is going to be dealing three damage to you know their creatures as well and i think it fits perfectly in this kind of deck uh hopefully that'll work immolating jugger four colorless red red uh and it deals x damage to each creature and planeswalker you don't control where x is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard like i said hoping to put instance in uh sorceries into the graveyard and then it doesn't hit your creatures so it's one-sided um should be a cool card to be using and the last one is shenanigans uh, my target artifact is a sorcery but you get to dredge one um and so we will you know it's kind of graveyard based but you're always able to remove stuff i have a feeling i'm just going to cut it right now we'll just cut it right might be mad about that. Okay. So let's get into our packages. We kind of already know what we want to be doing with the dragons. And so I'm going to find those dragons at least for now and just take them out. So that'd be Clouth, Savage, Vent Maw, Leyline, Tyrant, and then let's see here. Niv-Mizzet, 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 and then the Smoldering Egg. So right now we have seven to choose from, and let's kind of work from there. We will start off with, we'll start with the draw spells and just kind of see where they're going. I, you know, we probably want to be in the 20 range. Um, and just something that's going to fill up the graveyard quite a bit. So we don't want to get too thick on this. We want to be playing a bunch of them. You know, instant speed is, is nice because that allows you to um, 
do it on other people's turns, continue copying stuff. Uh, but permanence, some of that stuff is going to work as well. This is expo two, three, four, four, two. I'm just going to cut this one right off the bat. I think it's too expensive for what it's doing. Uh, electric chemistry's insight factor fiction thirst for knowledge. Um, pulse of the grid windfall careful study thought scour mental note search the counts frantic search sorcerer's spyglass is it risk factor hazard's memory i'm going to cut seize the spoils right away uh tectonic reformation thrilled possibility and faithless looting um let's see here let's go through the the big ones I think uh, read the bone or read the ruins is going to be a big spell. Like it's going to get a ton of cards to choose from. So for now, we'll leave that in practical research. I think is just too expensive at this point as well. Yeah. You really don't like foils. All right. I'll avoid foils from now on, I think. So I'll cut that right off the bat. Fact or fiction. Copied seems pretty good. Uh, Chemistry's insight. I like the idea of just like the jump start being in here. Channeled force is going to um, be removal on top of draw discard. So I like that. Unexpected wind, uh, windfall. That's going to be pretty good in here. Tefiri's master of insight or time should be sweet. Um. Hazaret's Monument. I don't think I'm going to be ca casting enough creatures. Um, and so I'm going to cut that off the bat. Risk factor. I'm going to cut this right now too because it is giving them a choice to take four damage instead of me drawing three cards. <sighs> I might keep it because dealing that kind of damage might not be bad either. Um, frantic Search is the untapping is going to be pretty sweet in here. One problem is this is the three spot where it's competing against dragon's approach. So Let's see, um, but drawing three, discarding two, I might be cutting those cards. Windfall is going to be sweet. I think pulse of the grid is kind of cool. There's some knowledge. That's one of those draw three, discard two electric revelation. I think just the, um, the windfall style. That's pretty cool. Thirst for meaning might get cut. Dak Faden is a draw discard. Like planeswalkers that do this kind of thing are going to be nice because they are modular. So I could still steal artifacts or whatever with this too. Prismari Command does a lot of stuff. And I think we're just going to cut the Royal Scions right off the bat. It's three. It's not an instant. Uh, it's not really relevant anywhere else. Draw four cards. And if you do... Deals damage to any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Royal Scions are kind of gone right off the bat. And just to make room, we'll cut these kind of cards as well. And then onto the two spot. Uh, thrill of possibility. Um, I love these kind of cards with the Calamax copying stuff. So we'll definitely do that. I do think I want to be bringing, you know, create, I have four cards that bring all the lands back into play. Um, let's kind of roll with tectonic reformation to work as well. Is it charm? Uh, a little bit of modular, like there are so many spots that, um, are taken up by Dra dragon's approach. So having a little bit of ability to do other things is really important. I think with your draw spells as well. So is it charms going to be in? Sorcerer class is going to be in grapple with the past. Um, I don't, it, it digs deep in this kind of deck and it can save a dragon, even if it dies or whatever. So maybe, maybe radical idea. I think I like that as well. Smuggler's copter allows me to tap down Calamax. So I kind of want to do that. Curate, I probably want to get rid of and Faithless Salvaging as well because they're just doing, you know, essentially just one card. They're not doing enough for two mana. Um, so I think both of these end up getting cut. And then the one mana, which is going to be pretty good. Faithless Looting is in. 
Mental Note and Thought Scour are essentially the same card in here at instant speed. One mana, drawing your cards. Careful Study um, is a second Faithless Looting for the most part. Dragon Rage Channeler and Otherworldly Gaze. I think since they don't put cards into hand at all. Flashbacks can I? I think for now we're going to cut these two as well. Um, okay. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. We have 24 draw card, uh, draw spells. I don't hate where that's at at this point. So that should be good. Um, let's start looking at the, the ramp a little bit here. Let's see how many we're at. It's, um... Mm, not doing too bad. And then we'll we'll put opt in the draw pile too. Okay, these are a little bit different. Okay, so let's look at our land stuff. Uh, Mina and Den. Let's put this into our CMCs. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think one I'm going to have a big problem with is my three, my three slot is going to be just fat. There's going to be a lot there. It looks like. Um, so I, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to reduce that. Uh, four, two. Uh, let's get rid of these. So one thing about exploration style cards is that you definitely need to get the lands into your hand somehow. And so the big part of that being able to play extra lands is I want, I'm going to have to have something that brings it back from the graveyard or using the graveyard in some way, shape or form. So let's go with the thick part three. Storm Killed Arna still seems sweet. Um, I definitely want the ones that bring back Splendor Reclamation. Uh, and then World Shaper. I think those definitely go in. Um, Mina and Den's probably just too expensive. Same thing with Oracle, Oracle of Multi. I don't want to have like so many of them in this where I'm just playing extra lands. And so with them... I think that we'll probably end up cutting these right off or right now. Um, I still like the idea of frontier siege because I'm not going to get a chance to play this in many other decks. And so <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the camera. So it stinks, but those four um, I'll be happy with at the three spot. Uh, Dryad of the Il Elysian Grove. I'm cool with that. It's a decent blocker. Honor Worn Shaku. Taps. I think I'm going to... Well, this puts Lance into the graveyard as well, so it kind of works that way. Crows and Restore. I think since it's three mana, I think I'm just going to want to get rid of it. Azusa is always so freaking powerful. Slowgurk is just another way to get lands back into my hand. And so... For now, I think it's good. Ramana and Crucible are both in, and Harrow is definitely in, so I'm not even... So the questionable ones right now... I don't hate them. I don't love them. All right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? Everything's going to work out. It's going to be great. Uh, Ruby Medallion, because we just know that you're going to have a lot of red spells. The dragons are all red to some degree. Uh, Dragon's Approach is red. Fits perfectly in here. Uh, Arcane Signet is just going to be in there. I I like the idea of the homon homunculus. Reducing it, being mana at two. I I, I don't dislike it. Song of Freilis, being able to tap Calamax works for me. Silverglade works for me. Sakura Tribuilder. At two mana, I'm happy with Life from the Loam. I, I love that card. Dockside works a ton. 
Quandrix, I like the idea that I think I think Ren Seven's probably not doing enough in this deck, which sounds insane, right? Radiclaw Mystic's probably gone, and then Cryptolith Right will work with that, and then. We'll go with this one. Exploration. Uh, we'll make that work. Birds of Paradise at one mana. Soul Ring. Spring Leaf works. Paradise Mana works. Lock of Yesterdays. Uh, let's keep Utopia Sprawl. We're going to cut crop rotation. Just not going to do a whole ton. I, we're not tutoring for any lands specifically. And so I think we'll we'll work with that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fitting. 29. 29 is clearly too much. Um, but we'll we'll stick. We'll be fine with that at this point. Um, let's do a little bit more separating. Sorry, did oop. The dragons. So this deck is definitely being bunched up into you know draw, ramp, and dragons. And dragons approach. So this is gonna be kind of go with the x okay let's just kind of go through this giving haste is probably going to be okay but i don't think it's going to be drawing i think it's kind of hard it's at three mana um i'm just going to cut Tamur ascendancy right now inspiring call i don't have enough counters in here to make it work i love this card in any plus one counter deck but i don't think it's going to work here fire prophecy i do like this card it's going to be removal um utopia uh ran uh zero is saying that utopia sprawl might be out of place uh it might be um but one mana is kind of nice like so what thinking about one mana ramp gets me to three on turn two and if i can consistently do that then dragon's approach or it seems like a lot of my ramp and or drawing can just start happening on turn two which is going to be important uh, fire prophecy gets dragons out of my hand, so I like it. Brainstorm just kind of checks for a bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to cut that right off the bat. Archmage Emeritus is gonna keep my hand full, it's super good. Rael is pretty damn good as well. Sakara the Bold, um, I don't, I think the five mana is what's going to hurt it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep, like if I was trying to play a bunch of dragons approach, I think this card would be fantastic, but I'm, I'm not necessarily trying to do that. So, uh, we'll skip on this. We'll cut that right away. Sarkin on broken. It is on theme trying to get a bunch of dragons out. So I, I might still run with that for now. Klaus will, uh, in my X spell slot. I love this card. But I'm not sure about this deck because it might kill off my my Calamax, which I'm a little worried about. Um, two, three, four, five. We'll have to see. I think I'm getting rid of Strength of Tajuru. We'll we'll skip that. Okay, but we'll keep Klaus Will for now. Pull from tomorrow is draw this card. It's going to work really well with those Niv Mizzets. Um, it's going to be great. Same thing with Explosion. Such a crazy card. Court of Calling. Um, it's almost like a dragon's approach pulling one to two dragons out. It's going to be good. Um, comet storm. It's just some X spell burn kind of working it in there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough room in there for this. Same thing with fall of Titans and at least Fulton is going to remove a bunch, but this could also potentially just get rid of Calamax, which I wouldn't be thrilled about. But at least it deals damage to everybody uh, in each player. Yeah, so that, that could be a nice way to end games. Luster Storm is some protection. Primal Amulet is kind of expensive, I think, at this point. I think we're... Uh, Spellweaver's Helix, this is something that I'm going to force. Uh, Pyromancer's Ascension is something that I'm going to force. Uh, Wart, the Raid Mother, being able to copy you know, dragons approaches and stuff like that seems sweet. Okay. So problem with dual casting is it's an aura and it's copying a spell that's already on the stack. So 
potentially like if I'm I'm was thinking of putting this on Calamax, but it if I'm trying to copy like an instant with this, then Calamax would not copy it there. I don't know how well this works. It kind of kind of works. Um uh, zero, let me know what you're thinking about dual casting. I think I'll keep it for now, but it's probably gonna go. Fireman's goggles. Um seems like it'll be cool copying those high CMC X spells. I'm I'm all right with that so far. Dragon Storm is I'll probably cut that for now. And if I end up going and getting some of those rituals and putting them back into play, I, I'll definitely go and get this. But right now, I'm probably not going to have any other spells being played ahead of this. And nine mana seems like a lot. Shrines get enforced. Greaves and boots are in. Um, We just need some flexibility there. I think Chandra's incinerator works. Emulating gyre works. And I think these are very generic, but not hitting everything. So I think these two get cut. Uh, so zero likes the dual casting, but we might have too much enchantments. I, I think you're kind of right on that too. So, so right now we've kind of gone through everything. I'm not sure how many cards we have in the deck, but it's too many. It's clearly too many at this point. Um, I forgot to give a count on how many we had to start with, but we'll just go 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32, 1, 32, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're at 112 right now. And I already cut that much. So we're doing we're doing all right. We're moving along. But um got a long ways to go. A lot further than I intended. All right. So or anticipated really. Um playing around with the lands. Let's let's kind of go look in there. And might have too much kind of going on. Okay. And so we're going to look at this exploration. Birds of Paradise makes sense. So we might, I think right now, like package wise, just like what's in here. I like that. Um, one mana. We don't have to do that. Utopia Sprawl isn't really on theme, doesn't really work in here. I like Crypto the Right. Quandrix Apprentice works for me. Dockside, Life from the Loam. Maybe not. That kind of works. That kind of works. There. A lot of the support's going to be green and blue. Maybe the better thought is to go and find some cards that reduce just instants and sorceries like curious homunculus instead of ruby medallion. So for right now, I think we'll cut that. Um, we want docs or Ramanop and crucible harrow frontier siege. <sighs> Probably cut that. I, so we want those two definitely in there. Storm kill artist kind of, Allows you to go off on any Spellsinger deck. Totally works in my mind. Slogurk could maybe get binned. Azusa can probably get binned at being at three mana. Instant, Honorworn, Dryad being able to mana fix and it can block. Azusa can't really block. Like the difference here is like this can do two, this can do one, this uh, fixes you and can block. This one can't. This can die to removal in enchantment removal. Uh, this looks pretty fucking sweet though. So we'll, we'll keep that. And I think right now, I think we cut these guys just, just to, you gotta cut the land, you know, the ramp to a degree. 
off the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 doesn't seem awful. We're in, we're getting into the range there. Um, I think our card advantage uh, engines are going to be, we're pretty high in that regard. So we're going to have to cut down on that pretty big time. We'll stick with the dragons like we talked about for now. And these are our randoms. If there's any card advantage stuff, we'll, we'll try and try and put those in there too, because they're kind of the same idea at this point. Um, man, we're gonna be we're gonna be definitely light on removal, light on protection. Um, yeah, getting rid of dual casting. I think that goes away. I think I think you're right. We don't have enough support for it. We're not really trying to copy a ton of that stuff. Um, it's not worried. Okay, let's not worry about that right now. Let's go through the draws because we know it's thick, thick. Let's get that on top. Stop having. Uh, how many uh, zero? How many of what do I have? You're you, so the chat is a little bit delayed, so um, I'm not always sure which which card you're talking about. But um, I, I, you know, I don't think a lot of people are going to play Fire of Prophecy, so that could be um, a good card to be playing. Archmage is going to be crazy if I'm casting a bunch of spells. I think Rael works in this deck quite well. Explosion pull. Um, I think maybe we cut opt just because it's not discarding. So we'll avoid that. I do get a little bit worried about the, just the two off the top. Oh, how many exploration effects do I have right now? I'm probably only down to like two, maybe only one with dryad of Elysium. I cut a bunch of them already. And so there, there has to be something one. So I still still want to be potentially playing from the graveyard. Um, yeah, it just looks like one right now with Explo or with Dryad, and that's that might be just good enough. Exploration might make its way back in, but I think we need a little bit. We'll we'll see how fast the dragons can come out eventually. Um, so like all that. So thought scour and mental note scare me a little bit with just the top mill because you can't really get them back in this deck. So I'm going to cut those. Faithless looting is nice. Careful study is going to be sweet. Smuggler's copter, I think is right. Radical idea, I think just is maybe a little too expensive. Like one card for two is an amazing grapple with the past. The, the mill top three just kind of scares me. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to get that. I'd rather have choices. Sorcerer class is going to be sweet. Is it charm is nice. I think I get rid of tectonic reformation. I don't think it really works um, at this point. Uh, Thrill of possibility still works for me. Prismari command still works for me. Dak Faden still works for me. Electron still works for me. Pulse of the grid, I think is going to be kind of sweet. Windfall still works for me. Frantic search. I think maybe we get rid of risk factor just because they're able to make that decision to have four damage. If I was burning more, if I was trying to do the dragon's approach thing more often, more consistently, then I think this becomes much more doable here, but uh, I don't think it works here at this point. Um, Teferi's, uh, Teferi is going to be sweet. Unexpected windfall channeled by channeled force. I think I cut chemistry's insight at this point as well. Like just being four mana. If I get those cost reducers in here, I think that'll be really nice. <laughs> hey, AJ bang, bang, bang. Uh, so I think, I think I cut chemistry's insight at this point. I think I keep factor fiction. Well, somebody could, uh, an opponent separates. Giving choice 
And I think Read the Bones might be too expensive as well. Like, it's a really bad card when you just don't have any cards in hand. But maybe that doesn't really matter either. All right, let's cut those two. <laughs> AJ says, you can approach my dragon anytime. And uh, I don't know how to respond to that. Oh. Hold on. Can you guys hear this? Can you hear my buttons? Oh, good for you. Please tell me you can. You like, okay, zero likes. Did you get, tell me if you heard the, oh, good for you. I just hit the button. You like fact or fiction? I'll, I'll listen a little bit because I just cut the, read the ruins and that's a big one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, right around the ramp amount of ramp there. That is nice. So 20, 40, 60. Um, and we're probably at 70 cards with draw ramp dragons approach dragons. We're probably at 70 cards there. Okay. And yeah, we just cut that much. Not too bad. Um, Small uh, immolating gyre. I think we're just gonna want to try and have that and this in there. Like the removal is just so thin. So if they're on theme with like instances sorceries going in, oh, you can hear the buttons. Maybe that'll make up for all the blurry shit that I got going on, huh? Um, a force and shrine. I think pyromancer's goggles is just too expensive. So we'll we'll cut that. Wart the raid mother. I still would want that pending on how many creatures that I end up having. Let's read through Pyromancer's Ascension. All right. Whenever you cast an instant spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, you may put a quest counter on Pyromancer. So it's whenever I cast it, it puts a quest counter on. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell while Pyromancer's Ascension has two or more quest counters on it, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And so... That does seem sweet. That does seem sweet, but I'm not burning people. Um, that's a bummer. I kind of want to play this. I Okay. For now, I'm going to just play Ascension. I still like Spellweaver. Fluster Storm is crazy good. And these are my X spells. I only got like one, two, three, four, five, plus a couple of draw ones. Uh, Sarkon, draw a card, add a mana, put a dragon into play, and then search your library for any number of dragon creatures and put that into the battlefield and shuffle your library. <sighs> Sarkon gets cut. There's a burn, 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 cheat, and then removal, removal. Do I really even care about those? Yeah, I do. Uh oh. All right. Now we're starting to get into the hard stuff here. Uh, I will. Uh, I will have twenty six dragons approach. Um. So that's how many I have. That's how many I have to work with. And that's um where we'll go with that. All right. Making cuts left and right here, but. Let's go with a just the CMC all together. Let's see where we're at. So Cloud six. Get there. Five four. There's gonna be a lot of three here. I am I am pretty worried about that. Just how thick the three spot is going to be. And so I'm not looking forward to figuring that bit out cut cut copying the dragon's approaches or whatever i don't think really matter like i that's gonna be frustrating i might end up i don't want to cut that i'm not cutting that fuck that but i might all right uh, two three four Three, 
twos, ones, XX. All right. So even without Dragon's Approach in there, I have three the three spots the thickest. So like I was saying, that's that's going to be an issue that I'm kind of going to be worried about. Um, so here's the question. Like, I like Niv-Mizzet. I'm drawing a bunch of cards. I can do a lot of pinging. But are those big X spells that I'm thinking would be nice? I think, you know, I still like them, but I might have to rethink how or what dragons I use. Because they are kind of doing two different things a little bit. But adding mana into the X spells would be nice. If I have more draw, like pull from tomorrow, that can just X draw a ton of cards. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I can change some of the X spells. Instead of burning, maybe I make people draw out. Or maybe I draw a ton of cards and have niv deal a lot of damage. Okay, so top end, this seems pretty thick to me. Um, so that does worry me. I think I'm going to get rid of Clouth. Clouth's will? I think I do that for now. Because I have enough, maybe not enough damage, but just being able to burn people to the face might be nice. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of Niv-Mizzet, Draco Genius. Because whenever it deals damage, you draw a card. The mana might be nice, but I just don't think, I don't think it's going to work too well in here. I would probably never tutor it. Niv-Mizzet, Perun, and Firemind are going to be sweet. Clouth is good. Savage Vent Maw should be cool. All right. Let's see here. It's an instant, instant. All right. Let's be, let's leave that alone for now. Emeritus. Factor Fiction. I'm going to cut Factor Fiction. I think it's just too many cards. They're kind of putting it into a pile. I don't think it's going to be, you know, it's four mana. I think we avoid that. Uh, Channeled Force, Unexpected Windfall, Defiri, Storm Killed Arnis. So this Storm Killed seems like a card that's too expensive for what it's doing, but it seems to just outperform. Like the, especially when you're copying, it's gonna it's gonna create a lot of treasures. It's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, land, land, leyline tyrant could be cool because that saves you a lot of your red, especially if you're just ramping and don't have much to do, can't get those X spells. Um, being able to save it seems pretty cool. All right, this three spots thick, thick. Um, seems like it's gonna be um. Hmm. Hmm. Hero, Ramanov, Crucible, Dryad, Honor Ward. I think I need to get rid of Honor Ward. It's a cool card for sure. But I need, whew, shit. I need to cut this, uh, this three spot down quite a bit. All right. Where, where are my lack of options? What, what is too thin? Roiling regrowth. Um, I th this might be crazy, but I think I'm going to cut windfall. So let's get rid of that. Rael is only going to draw me like one or two extra cards, but it, the big thing about Rael is being able to keep up when you're drawing and discarding a ton of cards and it just gives you more options. Three mana is a really good, you know, it's cheap. It's cheap. I don't have a three spot, but um, Pulse of the Grid, I think is cool here, being able to potentially recast and catch up a bunch. Kind of works. 
Um, let's get let's cut Dak Faden for now. I think that makes sense to me. Prismari Command is sweet. The Shrine, boom, boom. So these are this is kind of probably what's going for Klaus Will, Beast Within and Chaos Warp. They just kind of cover so much. And there's just no backside really. So I think I think that totally works. Bell Wicker's Helix. Harrow. All right. I'm happy with this three spot for now. I'm right there. All right. Am I really worried about a dragon getting stuck into my hand? No. No, not really. Let's cut that. Throw a possibility should be sweet. Is it charm? Source of class. Smuggler copter. I think I have enough. I can, I'm starting to cut the ways that Calamax can be tapped and stuff like that. So that kind of worries me. But we'll see. So let's get Smuggler's Copter. Greaves, boots, I think are huge. Let's go with, let's keep Curious Mon. Curious in, Signet in, Song of Fraley's can be cool. Um, Silverglade Pathfinder seems cool. I want to play with it. I want to play with it. So we'll see if we can make that work. Life from the Loam seems sweet. Dockside Extortionist, uh, Quandrix. It's going to put a lot of land in the hand. I think that happens. But do I care about that? Especially since I'm not putting a bunch of land into play now. But it also allows me to just discard land if it fills up and stuff like that. Like That's fine too. And I need creatures. I need some creatures. I think I'm pretty light on creatures. That's my guess. Okay. And then boom, boom. Those both make sense. One spot's a little fine. Boom, boom. Yep, 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 yep. That all makes sense. All right, we're getting a respectable. That's 27, 28, 29, 30. Looking at 82, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I, I think we'll be able to get this down to, you know, in the 60, 63 range. I might, this might just be it for the night. Let's hope this camera just fucks off. <laughs> so I would suggest watching this in two times speed. If, if you're not already. Um, okay. Let's, let's break this up and see instance and sorceries and all the card types and stuff like that. Let's do that. Um, creature. And we actually probably want that up there. Creature. Enchantment. Sorcery. Creature. Enchantment. Artifact. Creature. Artifact. Artifact. Enchantment. Instance. Instant. Creature. see here oh, oh, oh. Right. instant we got what one walker in here instant creature i might have more creatures in here than i was thinking instant 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 creature 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 all right And then we just have a fat stack of dragons approaches, sorceries, thinking about that. But these don't seem too crazy. Um, immolating gyre. I'm not sure because I have those X spells that I can copy and I think they'll do a lot of work. So I think we'll get rid of immolating gyre at this point. Can't copy it. I can't uh, land into play. Land in a hand. All right. Draw a discard, draw a discard. I think those work. Those work quite a bit for me. Fairies. Orcs. 
for me. Um, these enchantments, I have four enchantments. They all make sense to me. Mana, mana, mana. And then a bunch of tokens. Never going to be able to play it again. So I think it works here. Artifacts. Um, maybe. I think I like the idea of haste. Like haste makes sense to me for those creatures that attack. All right, boom, boom, we're keeping that. I like that. Does it make more sense? I'll probably have dense foliage come into here because I'm doing X spells and damage. I'm not really targeting creatures. Um, so I think we'll cut greaves and boots, but probably replace them with like Hatred and to give haste because I'm putting stuff in the graveyard anyway. And dense foliage to protect to, from spot removal. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'm thinking. All right. Instance. Uh, let's go with uh, Fault Line, Fall of Titan, Comet Storm, Court of Calling makes sense. Pull from Tomorrow. Explosion is sweet. Channel by Force. Ooh, ooh, this might be Beast Within. I think this is going to be kind of tough. All right, all right. Six mana, being able to untap that much probably just almost ramps me, you know, into a dragon. Motherfucker. I am struggling tonight, aren't I? Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to get rid of Pulse of the Grid. Because I don't think I'm going to have drawing problems. Throw a possibility makes sense. Is it charm gives me flexibility. Fluster storm can do some cool stuff. Burn, burn, burn. Cord of calling. Makes sense to me. Pull from tomorrow. Explosion. Channeled by force is some removal attached to draw. Draw. Ramp, ramp. Removal, removal. Draw, draw. Okay where we're at right now all right creatures one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen do i love them i like the dragons so we kind of already know that i like chandra's incinerator archmage world shaper storm kiln leyline tyrant dryad ramana rael Hmm. Two mana ramp. I probably don't dislike Silver Glade Pathfinder. I still like that. Still like that. Two mana ramp. I probably don't dislike Silver Glade Pathfinder. I still like that. Still like that. Quandrex Apprentice. Let's cut that. Okay. Didn't cut many there, like three, four, so I'm still like 20 away. Um, let's cut this into sections. All right. Ramp, ramp. We'll count that as removal. Ramp, ramp, draw. It's kind of ramp or at least messing around with mana. Um, consider that mana. Draw. That's removal. Consider those removal. I don't know how much I can really depend on that but we'll say that and we'll consider that draw section or probably removal um removal 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 mm, let's draw 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 ramp, ramp removal removal draw draw and ramp but that'll be ramp. Ramp, 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 ramp. Technically card advantage. This is something like tokens. This will be that. I don't know if I like Song of Freilis at this point. Ramp, ramp. Draw, ramp, ramp, draw, draw. Not a lot of flexibility there, like I was saying. So I still like both of these cards. 
I still like. I still like this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty three. It's quite a bit. All right, let's let's slim down on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, my re my removal looks pack perfect at this point. I I think I like it. I don't think there's much more I can do unless I want to start cutting my X damage spells. I'm fine with that. So we'll keep that. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <sighs> Probably keeping that. I don't want to cut much from there. So ramp might become more dependable. And and less of the graveyard land bullshit and lands. All right, graveyard just boom, boom. Um, it's kind of graveyard. This is dependable, makes sense to me. I got my dragons, graveyard. This is dependable, dragon, curious. Half this stuff. I'm going to cut Song of Fraley's here. Probably Curious Homunculus. I still like Silverglade Pathfinder in here. And I still like Dryad. I like Cryptolith. I like... I think this is a sweet card. I'll never get to play it again. It kind of makes me feel like I want to like cutting some of these cards makes me feel like I want to just go with like, let's cast as many dragons approach as we can. And then focus in on casting, you know, getting the two new mizzets and a couple more dragons that just draw you a bunch of cards. And then I can just cast locket of yesterday's and some of those other cards that I just don't get to play with ever. And then I can, you know, then you get rid of some of the, the X spells and you're kind of rearranging and stuff like that. But I think for now I'm going to cut this and I want to keep the dragons and the X spells that I'm doing. And then if those don't really work, then next week I'll, I'll be switching those around a bit. So for now, we'll keep that. And is there any just total bullshit in here? One, two. Am I missing... Why do I feel like there's supposed to be three cards like this that bring all land from your graveyard into play? But maybe I'm just thinking wrong here. If there's another one, let me know. I just, I don't remember. Boom, boom, boom. All that makes sense to me. Because life from the loam is going to be really nice just being able to discard some of those cards. So where, where are we at there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 is at least respectable. All right. Dragon's Approach and Calamax, or Dragon's Approach, we'll say 20, 26, 7, 28, 9, 30, 40, 41, 50, 60, 70, 74, 74. So if we can cut essentially 10, that's where we're at. Hey, Paul, thanks for joining. Um, Hypersonic Dragon is, if it turns sorceries into instance, I'd be fucking stoked with Calmax for sure. Um, but it doesn't. And so I'm not really looking to cast Dragon's Approach all the time. I'm just looking to cast Dragon's Approach like once or twice, get some dragons out and have it rolling. Um, so right now I'm at about 10 cards. Let's get rid of just one of the dragons approach for now. We'll be at 25. We'll do 25 dragons approach and we'll be, we'll be happy, right? Maybe might be too little, but 26 might be too little then too. 
So looking to can, uh, cut essentially, um, I think maybe we cut Ramanop Excavator, but still keep Crucible, Life from the Loam. I still kind of like that little package there. Leyline Tyrant works for me. Savage Vent Maw, Clouth. Cryptolith seems cool. I just don't want to play it. Hmm. Let's keep going. Birds of Paradise makes sense. Dockside, Storm Killed, Harrow, Roiling, Regrowth, Springleaf Drum, Paradise Mantle, Soul Ring, Arcane. Care okay, that's all right. Into the draw spells, careful study, faithless looting. Uh, Tefiri, Master of Time. I think it's just going to be too expensive. Maybe we just cut that. Try and lower that curve as much as I can. Uh, Sorcerer class is going to be cool. Electric Revelation, Prismari Command. Uh, Channeled Force. I think that's still nice removal. Unexpected Windfall is cool. Explosion we'll want to do. Pull from tomorrow. Court of Calling. Court of Calling is so good with Calmax. So, is it Thrill of Possibility, Frantic Search, Archmage, Rael, Beast Within, Chaos Warp, Comet Storm, Fall of the Titans, Fault Line, Fluster Storm? Do we just not want to have any protection whatsoever here? Oof, I don't know if I like that idea. All right. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 60, 63. So we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over. We're 7 over. Seven over. How in the hell do I get there? How in the hell do I get there? Um, seven over. Okay. If miss it, okay. Trying is sweet. Helix is sweet. What else does that work with though in here? We don't have, oh, it's not a lot of sorceries though. So, I mean, it works with Dragon's Approach, and that could be cool. Just start burning people. That sucks. That sucks. So, here's, here's the worry. Is that I'm just not casting Dragon's Approach a whole ton. I don't have a lot of sorceries. Hmm. We cut it. It's one. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Shrine's still cool in here. Flusterstorm still works. Fault line. Fall of the Titan could be some nice burn. Same thing with Comet Storm. Um, I want to say last time, or no, not the last time, but Comet Storm, I've targeted maybe zero stuff, and then a heroic intervention, and you're like, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Chaos Warp and Beast Within are just coveralls. Rael is sweet. Archmage is going to be sweet. Frantic Search. Thrill. Is it? Is it Charm? Is it good enough? What's the other thing? It de deals two damage, so it can be removal. I think we keep that. Court of Calling from Tomorrow. Explosion. Unexpected Windfall. Channeled by force. Is that too expensive? No, that's going to draw me a ton of cards. It's going to just draw me a ton of cards. Maybe the trick is just not worry about the draw and discard so much and just draw so many cards I need to discard. That'd be ridiculous. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Three sorcerer class. Boom, boom. Then we're back into the ramp part. Okay, 
Now dig that, dig that. Silverglade Pathfinder, I think that still kind of works. Dryad, Cryptolith. Oof, oof. All right. We're at six. Six cards, and then we'll have this bad boy done. So let's say I have I have 25. So at best we can do five times. Just like searching. That won't ever happen. You know, more than likely I'll be able to search two to three times. Probably best case scenario. Um and I don't think 30 is gonna help me that much either. You know, going up to 30, wanting to, but dropping down to 20 seems like a bad idea. Right. Um, so we have six that we want to cut. Pretty dang close. I think. All right. Let's try this because I want to sleeve it up. I want to practice it and I want to, up, I want to see what it's like. And that's generally, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to make sure that I have enough, you know, playing it helps me um, figure out what the deck wants, what it needs. And I could be totally off base and that's perfectly fine. And if I'm shifting, I'll, I'll redo this next week. Let's get rid of fault line. Might have too many X spells in there. I'm, I'm thinking that like follow the Titan and Comet Storm just allow me to deal damage to their face. Chaos Warp, Beast Within are good. Um, maybe let's cut Rael because it's not a whole ton and it's not all the time. Emerus makes sense. Frantic Search is going to be crazy. Thrill is a charm. Cord can go and get. Dragons, easily copied. Pull from tomorrow. Explosion. I like unexpected windfall because that's also just kind of ramping me. Damage kind of ramping me. Drawing cards. Maybe that's. I'm going to cut this because we have thrill possibility and then we also have unexpected windfall. This gets you some you know some man this is just drawing and it's not super cheap so we'll get rid of that uh so like you know let's draw a discard but it's really cheap and well worth doing um makes sense you know tapping down calamax roiling regrowth i think i'm going to end up cutting i'm going to cut that one but we'll keep harrow still in with with it yeah storm killed makes a ton of sense, but does it? Dockside, just for the ramp, because it's fucking nuts. Do I care? Like, Dockside is cheap. Storm Kiln Artist is like, you know, you're more spell slingy, so that's much more on par. How many we got here? One, two, three, four. We have one more cut at this point. Might be Dockside just because it's off a little bit. I still like Silverglade Pathfinder, Dryad, Cryptolith, Clouth, Savage, Leyline Tyrant, Life from the Loam, Crucible of Worlds, World Shaper, and Splutter Reclamation. I think that's it. Feels weird to cut Dockside, but. And it's probably wrong. It's probably always wrong, but that's okay. All right, so 25, Dragon's Approach, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 31, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 9, 41, 7, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 61, 65. 65? All right, two more, I guess. Two more. Okay. If there's anything that you see that you're like, I don't like that. Just say something in the chat and then uh, I'll consider it. 
World Shaper, Splendor Reclamation makes a ton of sense to me. Crucible, Life from the Loam. And then Dryad of the Elysium. Like all of that just kind of works together, can be really nice. World Shaper makes sense to me. These dragons make sense to me. Cryptolith kind of makes sense. Silver Glade Pathfinder, Birds of Paradise, Storm Kiln Artist. Yeah, yeah. Hero, Paradise Mantle, Spring Leaf Drum, Arcane Signet, Soul Ring, Sorcerer Class, Faithless Looting, Careful Study, Prismari. What does that all do? Two damage to any target. Draws two cards, then discards two cards. Target player creates a treasure token and destroy target art. Yeah, that's just doing so much there. Channeled by force. Unexpected. Explosion. Pull from tomorrow. It's huge, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think pull from tomorrow can get cut. It's one. I just don't think... You know, unless I went full on draw in here, almost like adding in like psychosis crawler and stuff that can deal more damage from drawing. I don't, I don't think I need that one. Um, court of calling is a charm thrill of possibility just because it's cheap is making it frantic search is almost arch mage. I think works. Beast Within, Chaos Warp, Comet Storm, Fall of the Titan. Is that even X damage to each of up to two? I'll be able to surge this, you know, more than likely. I have a lot of instants. Um, Fall of the Titan. I think it's gone. I think that's, you know, got rid of the X spells. Um, you know, after playing through this, I have a feeling that uh, the the ramp guys gonna aren't gonna be as necessary. That's gonna be my feeling, and so I'll have to maybe find some draw and just like have the whole deck be sounder, centered around just drawing a ton of cards. And so these, I still like Leyline Tyrant. I still like the idea of ramping into huge spells and like having them copied by Calamax. But as of right now, I don't think there's enough space for it. And so right now you got Comet Storm as a big spell, Court of Calling, Explosion. And that's kind of it for those huge spells. So I don't think I need that much more mana. Like, I still like Leyline Tyrant. Is that what we're doing? Is, is that what we're just cutting those right now since we got we got rid of... What can I add back in to kind of, like, Dockside? Let's get Dockside back in. That's probably almost better than Ventmaw. Um, and then Clouth. Flying haste whenever it attacks at X mana in any combination of colors where X is the total power of attacking creatures. Spend this mana only to cast spells until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. All right. All right. Let's, let's figure out if there's something else that I want to be doing then. Um, I got rid of a lot of the, so I'm going to add in immolating gyre. Um, hmm. might have to go through and see what dragons might actually work because that would be that might be important at this point. Yeah, yep, yeah. okay. We'll cut Clouth. 
we'll do our numbers and then I think we're just going to be we'll probably be done here in the next five minutes. Um, uh -huh. all right. So 25 dragons approach Calamax and uh, six, Seven, three, nine, 40, 50, 60, 162, 63, and I'll have 26 land. And uh, I think that's going to end up being it. I think I'm going to. So that's that's going to be it. I need to put together the land base. I need to see how this kind of flows and see what works, see what doesn't. And uh, I'll probably end up doing a spotlight here in the, a little bit as well. So thanks for everybody that came out. I appreciate talking with you in the chat. Uh, if you have any questions or comments in the, uh, in the normal YouTubes, you know, make a comment and I will do my best to explain myself. And uh, even for thinking about cutting Dockside Extortionist, I apologize. And um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, you can check out our podcast. and. Um, Otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, you can check out our podcast that comes out every Wednesday. And um, normally, uh, searching the spotlight like this is going to be out every, you know, I'll, I'll live stream this on Thursdays. Uh, hopefully, my camera does better. Um, uh, Adam does proxy times on Sunday nights, so he'll live stream in proxies. We do, uh, I do put out uh, little videos on shorts every Monday and Friday. Uh, and that's kind of a lot of the stuff that we do. And we have a Patreon as well. And uh, it's a really cool Discord. And that only takes a dollar to get in. Otherwise, I hope you have a good night, good day. And thanks for watching.